Scientists from Glasgow have recreated the famous Schihalian experiment in which the mass of the entire planet was calculated using relatively basic tools and a Persia mountain. The work was first done in 1774 by the then astronomer Royal. He came up with a weight we now know wasn't too far from being right. For the first time in 300 years, the experiment has been done again, and the modern scientists will present their results tomorrow. But Simon Willis has been uh, with them today up the mountain. The picture postcard view of Shehalian in Perthshire, ideal for this experiment both in 1774 and today. Scientists from Glasgow have recreated, after a fashion, the famous experiment to weigh the world. They involved schools and brought pupils here to Shehalian to show them science doesn't just happen in laboratories. Schools need to be m more involved with experiments. It's no good us just coming here and doing it by ourselves. We could have come here at night with telescopes, but they wouldn't have been able to join in. But we really wanted to make them feel involved and that they were actually taking the measurements, which uh, they have done. You know, They actually have come and, and used our apparatus uh, to, uh, to make the measurements. And that's an essential part of, of being at school, is to be involved in experiments where maybe even you don't know what the answer is or whether it will even work. That's how it was for the Reverend Neville Maskelin in 1774. The first thing he had to do was work out the mass of the mountain. You can't see much of Shehalian today, but this plaque explains how those original calculations were done. This bit deals with weighing the mountain. It was first surveyed by Reuben Burrow, and then the mathematician Charles Hutton theoretically chopped the mountain into what's become known as contour lines. It's the first time they were used. From this, they could work out the weight of Shehalian. But it was a big step to go from that to working out the weight of the world. Nevertheless, Masklin had a go. This is what he did. He dangled a long plumb line on a platform two-thirds of the way up the mountain. He knew two gravitational forces would act upon it. The main gravity would obviously be coming from the mass of the Earth, pulling it down. But the mass of the mountain itself would pull the plumb line towards it, slightly off vertical. We've exaggerated it here. That gravitational effect is what he measured. From the angle the plumb line was deflected, Masklin could calculate the mass of the Earth relative to the mountain. He knew what the mountain weighed, so he could work out the weight of the Earth. But, after all that, did Masklin get his sums right? The mass of the Earth is 6 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. That's 6 million billion billion kilograms. Uh, Maskelin got a value of 4.5 million billion billion kilograms. Now, that represents him doing very well, considering that he was using what at the time was cutting-edge technology at the limits of its capability in order to measure a very, very fine, uh, small effect. And it's that same small gravitational effect they've tried to measure, but using different equipment. Their device is not a plumb line, it's a pendulum. A laser measures precisely how fast it swings. The gravitational pull of the mountain will mean it'll swing at a different speed at the summit compared to here near the base. Again, from the relative difference, they can calculate the difference in mass between the mountain and the Earth. Uh, if Maskelin could have done his this way, I'm sure he would have. The, 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 the key reason why he, he didn't is he didn't have lasers. Uh, and in order to get the timing accuracy, um, you know, we're talking about microsecond accuracy. Uh, you really need a, a laser light gate, which you can then connect up through an interface to a laptop to acquire the data you need. So that's what they've done, top and bottom of Shehalian. And their results? Well, I, uh, I can tell you that uh, we were not quite as good as Masculine, but we are on the high side. He was on the low side measuring the mass of the Earth. We were just a little bit further out on the high side. But I, I personally was very pleased because we didn't know this was going to work. When it started out, I would have said, you know, it was only a 25% chance we'd get even a positive mass of the Earth. And to get this result, um, I'm actually quite thrilled, to be honest. They'll present those results in full tomorrow night at Glasgow Science Centre's planetarium. Simon Willis on Shehalian. A quick look at tomorrow's front pages. Um, 